Hey everyone, welcome to day two. I hope that you all successfully took the time and energy to put on yourself on day one. I know it's difficult. I got some messages. I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and I get it. I'm there. Uh, we're all there, guys. Uh, we've all been ingrained to live this life of go, 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 of give, 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 you know? But when is it time to give here, to give to your heart? And the more you go and the, and the more you go, the more you become unconscious. And then you get these things that come at you, the tests and lessons, and you're like, holy crap, what's going on here? I'm doing all the work. And it's like, are you? Are you staying conscious? Are you staying heart-centered? Are you loving yourself? Are you putting aside time for you every day? So that's what these 11 days are for, is to truly start becoming the witness, the observer to your thoughts, to your emotions, to start taking your power back. I don't wanna make all the videos too long with me chitter chatting. You'll get that enough in the online course if you decide to continue on after these 11 days. Um, but we will get started on breathing number two, and we already are gonna up the level. We're gonna be holding the breath at the top, which as I've explained, in, See, I, I give all this information out for free and all my posts and everything, but it's interesting. Sometimes people just see the picture and they just like it. For me, that's unconscious social media. You know, if you're really conscious, then what you're looking at, you're paying attention to, you're giving your awareness and your energy to. And if it's something that resonates, beautiful. And if it's not, then you move on. I give all these pointers of what really, truly will help people. And often they just skim over it. You know, so when we do this holding breath at the top today, you're gonna be slowly and surely strengthening the pineal gland, which is your antenna to unlimited information. You know, Google it, look it up, um, watch Dr. Joe Dispenza's videos, get his book, Becoming Supernatural. I did put some suggestions in that you may wanna start reading um, or listening to. Um, they're in all the write-ups uh, for the course and for the 11 day challenge. Okay, so we're gonna be doing the same breathing today. Ooh, I'm excited, but we're gonna hold it at the top. I mean, I like to do 11 seconds, but I think that we should work our way up. So as much as you can, you hold it there. I'm gonna start with, let's go with a five second hold, okay? I think that's gonna be nice for everyone to slowly get into it and then we'll up it again on day three. So don't worry, it'll come fast and furious. So just stick where you feel. If you do three seconds, that's okay, do it. You know, you'll be able to up it at your natural pace throughout the 11 days, okay? So, let's do this. Magnets, clear my energy. Delete any emotions that are holding me back from connecting to source. Oh, feel the goosebumps, feel the love. Okay, so here we go. First breath, hold that first center. Lift the pelvic up. Yesterday I was in Lotus, today I'm just sitting on a chair. And one day I'll show you lying down, one day I'll show you outside. You could do anything, okay? It's all about the breath and where you're placing your attention. Okay, let's breathe up this first breath and we're gonna hold it. You're gonna follow it through all your centers, all the way up, and when you get to the seventh center, hold that breath and then release everything, okay? So let's do the four from the first center, okay? Here we go. Remember to keep that first center tight, even when you're holding your breath. Even if you have to take your awareness to holding breath, pressure on the first, holding breath, pressure on the first. That's okay. That's where you're placing your awareness. At least you're nodding your thoughts, right? It's beautiful. You're placing your awareness on your body. You're giving your body what it wants, energy. Okay, so number two, here we go. Speak it out for you this time. So holding tight the first and breathing up through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get loose. 
looser every time you breathe out. And again, lift the pelvic up a bit and breathe. Beautiful. Let's do one more down there. Ready? And go. Really pull up that energy. And I was explaining to a friend this morning that was asking me some advice that all of these trapped emotions, these blocked energy in our first three centers, that's been through years and years and passionately sticking them there. And I know it's not on purpose, but you do with your thoughts, with reactions, and with the way we've been programmed, that we've done it year after year after year. And if you're someone like me that's almost 40, you've been doing that passionately because every time you think and have these thoughts, it's, you're doing it. If you do it with anger, you're doing it passionately. So we've been sticking these emotions in there so passionately, you know, and all these false beliefs, they're there. So when we're doing this work, we've got to really pull that up with passion, with love, with intention, and get that out of there. And that's the work, day by day by day. So what if it takes you a year to master it and to have your body flowing like beautiful, unconditional love? Who cares? We've given this many years to the opposite. I think we owe it to ourselves to start giving it back. Give back love to the body, okay? Now let's go with number two. So hold that middle, that navel area of the body really tight. There you go, place your awareness and your attention there and breathe that energy up. again. And again. beautiful does that feel and you just let go and for some of you that might practice this breath a lot you might start activating your pineal gland and getting to that quantum field pretty quickly so I'll try and try in day three and four and so on to not speak so much during it but there's a lot of messages coming through right now from the collective that maybe just a few people still need to hear um, little messages that will help believe and as they come through I just let them flow so just bear with me in the first in the first while I'm feeling on every everyone's energy. I look to see who has viewed it, um, because at the end of the 11 days, uh, I'm gonna get people to send me a picture of their diary. So make sure you're writing little notes in your diary, like yesterday. You know, did the breathing one, two, three. Did the I am statements. That's it. Just a little little bit, and for each day, and then I'll know that you've you know you really put that effort in and that you're totally worthy of this the discount that I'm gonna give on the on the online course. Okay, let's do one more for that middle navel, okay? Really holding that awareness, your attention there in the second center. And 
and this is just the beginning. These are just the practices. This is just to start getting you ready for the real guided meditations that I'll do during the course for the 20, 30 minutes instead of just 11 minutes. Okay, so now let's place our awareness and our attention on that third, that upper abdomen. Okay, and really tighten that and breathe it up. Let's hold that third center again nice and tight and breathe up. And one more, just that third, and breathe. You're gonna be amazed how these breath, this breath work alone just tightens your core and makes it so much stronger. I'm doing stuff now in the jungle gym on the ninja parks that I wasn't able to do 10 years ago. And I, I know it's from this breathing. I'm not doing anything else. I'm not going to the gym. I'm not playing soccer. I'm, it's all from the breath work. It's absolutely amazing. Now let's just take three breaths nice and easy. Try and do it through your heart center again. You know, you've already started to move the energy in the first three. Let's open up the heart now. Three breaths on your own time. Bless yourself. Love yourself today more than you ever have. Honor yourself. Honor your heart. Honor your voice. Now let's tighten all three of our centers. Three hard breaths here and hold at the top. Ready now? Pelvic up. Second, third, got it locked down. Here we go. Part of the reason I use my hands, I already know that it moves energy on its own. That's from Tai Chi. But it also brings your awareness there. So if you're even touching your centers as you're going, you're bringing your awareness there. You're slowly taking your power back. You're not allowing your mind to take over and take you to what needs to be done today. What needs to be done after the breathing? Do I still have time to do this? No, oh, you have time. You always have time for you. You're teaching others how to treat you by loving yourself. 
You're teaching your children, your nieces, your nephews, the little ones that pay attention to you. And when you love yourself and you honor your heart, that's what you're teaching them. And it's beautiful. All right, let's do another one. Hold it tight and breathe it up. One more breath. All three centers tight. Pull up any stuck energy with passion and love for the greater good. And here we go. And a message just came through there. If you've ever had like stomach troubles or you think you've eaten something bad or you know just any type of pains with your digestive system, often it's good to go to the awareness and witness what have you gone through that day or the day before emotionally. Feel on what emotions were running through. Were you overwhelmed? You know, were you angry? It all affects the digestive system. And often when you just do the breathing, when you're bringing your awareness back, you can heal yourself quicker than any doctor, than any pharmaceutical pill. That is the power of the breath. Again, like I said yesterday, it ups melatonin levels. It upgrades melatonin to start creating new stem cells in the body. And how we speak to our body, remember, it listens. On a cellular level, our body listens to our thoughts, our words, our intention. So always ask yourself, what would love do? I love that line by Dr. Joe Dispenza. It hits so home. I co-wrote a song with a really, really close friend called Love is the Way. It's coming out in video soon. I can't wait to share that with the public. Um, but love is truly the way. And love heals all. You know, you've got to believe and you've got to do the work. Right? And so I would like you to continue with your I am statements. So when you've done it, give yourself a check. You know, it's very important to, to, to touch base with that center, with that soul on a daily basis. And the second homework today to add in there is tonight or in the morning, however your rotation is going with the videos, make a note of something in your diet that you did during the day that you'd like to start changing. Whether your portions are huge, huge. Remember, the body doesn't want to be digesting all the time. And you might think greens, oh yay, I'm putting in so many greens. It still needs to digest. The body still needs to work right? The less we put in, I mean, grazing, it's true. A lot of nat people that graze naturally are very healthy and strong and have a lot of energy. Research breatharians. They barely even eat food and they have unlimited energy. It's all what you believe. If you believe what works for one doesn't necessarily work for another, then that will be your truth. But if you believe the opposite, then that will be your truth. That's the beauty and the power we have here. The goosebumps are flowing through my body right now. That is such a truth. So for the diet, if you've had a little bit of sugar that you don't want to be having, make that note. Because day three, I'm going to ask you to maybe cut it out for a day. Maybe you late night munch. Maybe you sneak stuff during the day. You can, only you can be honest with yourself. And I know that I've done that stuff. And I still do sometimes. Are you emotionally eating that day? Try and cut that out the next day. But that's up to you. Whatever you want around the diet, just for one day, make a note tonight, and then day three, you're really gonna make an effort for that. And I'll, and I'll make a note of that at the start of the video for day three. Okay, and that's it. These are your little mini challenges, and it's all gonna come back to self-love, and it's only gonna free you more and more each day. So much love and light. I love this. I think I'm going to need to do a live soon so I can connect with you guys on a different level. And definitely when we do the emotion code release, we'll make a real big attempt to make that one live as well. Okay? So keep at it. Help each other. Um, share how it feels on the group. So people, I've already seen a couple people share and it's beautiful. You know, it's so nice. Come out of your shell. Be vulnerable. Share with your family. 
You know, you don't have to tell them to do it, but just share how much things are changing you inside. And that's when people start to change around you in your life. It's the vibration that we vibe at is what we attract. So again, if you're attracting the crap, which I've been there, it's on you. I take it every night in the mirror. It's on me. What did I do today? When did I go unconscious? When did I let an unconscious program take over my conscious mind? That's the real work. But that will change your life. See y'all soon. Peace.